Good evening, everyone. Good evening, teacher. How are you tonight? Hello, teacher. Hi. Hello, how are you tonight, Maria Elena? Oh, I am very tired. Tired, oh. Oh, I have a long day. Oh, really? What did yeah. you do today? Uh, I went to Ministerio de Educación. Okay. Pues acabo de llegar, casi como una media hora. Oh, my. <laughs> yeah, so yes. The trip the is traffic. kind of fun. Yeah, it's because of the traffic. You're right. Yeah. I'm sorry, and, but I need uh -huh. a coffee. <laughs> okay, I think it is not a problem. Okay, as soon as you can, uh, as soon as you can speak, no problem. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Carlos Eduardo. Hello, Karina. How are you, Wendy? Hello, Ana Cristina. Welcome. Good evening. We miss you. Good evening, Wendy. We missed you yesterday. Hello. Hello, Ana Cristina. Nice to see you tonight. Okay. Hello, Ana del Carmen. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Fine, thank you. Very good. Karina, how are you tonight? Good evening, teacher. I'm great. And you? Okay. I'm great too. Thanks for asking. <laughs> okay. Hello, Edwin. How are you? Hello, teacher. How's the weather? <clears throat> How's the weather over there? How is the weather? Is it raining? <clears throat> ¿Cómo está el clima? How's the weather? Hot. Uh, <clears throat> or cold. Uh, hot. Hot. Okay, it's hot. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. Uh, well, welcome everybody to your class. Now we are going to take the attendance. Let me go to the file and open it up. And let's start. Alejandra Vanessa Mora Rodriguez. Alexis Antonio Sandoval Morales. Ana Cristina Chavarria Flores. Ana del Carmen Mejía Álvarez. Present. Astrid Tatiana Jiménez Ramírez. Vladimir Antonio Santos Valdivieso. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present. Giovanni Alexander Ramirez Sanchez. Present. Okay. Jonathan Ernesto Fuentes Marín. José Atilio Mangandi Alvarado. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Karina Noemi Álvarez Mejía. Present. Carla Verónica Suria López. Present. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Present. Okay. Luis Roberto Mejía Menéndez. María Elena Romero de Galvez. Present. Nancy Ibet Tobar Rivera. Omar Alfredo Mozo Flores. Omar. Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba. 
Present. Okay, Raquel Judith Vázquez Córdoba. Present. Okay, Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Present. Auri Elena Segovia Rugamas. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Present. Félix Moisés Blanco Araniva. Javier Adolfo Mendoza Tobar. Okay, just let me take note of Jonathan. Let's I'm check. here, teacher. Okay. Okay, I think only you is added. Thank okay. you. Well, everyone. We are going to start with a little feedback from the class. I mean, from the yesterday's class. So um, who can tell me what were we talking about? What was the topic yesterday? Imperative. Imperatives, yes. Imperative sentences, yes. And what are the imperative sentences? What are they? What can you tell me about that? Command. Commands, uh-huh. Instruction. Excuse me? Instruction. Instructions. 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 Yes, instructions. Good. Mm -hmm. What else can be an imperative sentence? Advice. Excuse me? Advice. Advice. Correct. Correct. And invitations too, right? Invitations. Hey, come on. Okay, now I, I think we are better. Okay. Pongámosle un poquito de cuidado al sonido ambiente, chicos, porque es muy fuerte eh, y pues estorba un poquito, hace interferencia para los demás estudiantes, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, si en su casa hay bastante sonido ambiente, cerremos el micrófono, pero a la hora que vamos a contestar, acerquemos el micrófono o nos acercamos al micrófono para poder escucharlos, ¿ok? Bien. Let's continue with this feedback. But first of all, we are going to see the objectives, okay? The objectives for today's class. What are we going to learn today? Let's see. Here we are. We are still on unit two, and this is a new topic, but just remember that uh, the specific objective for today uh, in this unit is that you are going to learn how to express necessities and obligations, necessities and obligations. So what is the objective for today's class? Well, we are going to learn how to use have to and 
need to. These are two verbs, very important because they express a lot. It, they have a lot of uses and this is one of the uses of these two verbs, okay? Now, let's go and see the agenda. The agenda for today is that we're gonna make a little feedback about the imperatives. And we are going to talk about the obligations and your jobs or in your home and the necessities. Always and the topic of ongoing activities, right? Uh, ongoing activities in your workplace. But we are going to learn a little more, a little more activities that are a necessity, okay? That express a necessity and state urgency, state urgency. So we are going to learn how to state that. Then we are going to have some speaking activities and when we split, into, into the breakout rooms. And we're going to have some written activities today, tonight. And also uh, uh, we'll, be, we'll be having some chatting, okay? We'll be having some, some chatting. And the video conference for today is number eight. And can, can you tell me what date is it today? Anyone? What date is it today? June 2nd, uh, 2000. Okay, June 2nd of 2021. Oh. Very good. Very good. Ahora, para cultura general, gracias. Thank you, Maria Elena. We don't say June 2, okay? We say June 2nd. Así como lo dijo María Elena, ¿ok? Why second? Ah, because the word second is written like this. So what is the short for second? And D. If you see how it ends, ¿ok? And D. So we add to the number two and D. So second and second, okay? This is the way to write the date for the second day, for the day two of every month, okay? Así que así sería como cultura general, okay? Now let me erase this and let's go to have a word, feed. Let's remember that when we are uh, when we are giving an order or we are asking for someone to do something that we want they to do for us or maybe something that we need to be done, then we use the word please, please, because we want to be polite. Okay, we want to be polite. We can use please at the beginning or we can use please at the end. But now I am going to say, please activate your audio, okay? Please activate your audio. You see, this is a command, okay? This is a command. Another, I could say, Please repeat after me, okay? Yes. Then I'm not gonna say please in this one because it's not an order, it's an instruction, okay? Then I'm gonna say, do your homework, okay? I could say please, but it's better if I say, hey, do your homework. There you go. Now, what other 
examples can you give me? Now, I want to hear you guys. Examples of imperative sentences. Please supervise or employ them. Very good. Supervise the employees. Mm -hmm. Please answer the phone. Okay. Answer the phone okay please uh, call a claims okay okay the claims very good La actividad que hemos aprendido. Excuse me. Sit down, please. Very good. Giovanni, you were going to say something. Please go to sleep. Please. Go to sleep. Thank you. Please go to sleep. Good. Okay, if you see these imperative sentences are in a positive way, they are in an affirmative way, okay? But maybe we're going to give an instruction of not doing something, okay? Of not doing something. Then what do we use? We use do not and does not. But in this case, in this case for imperative sentences, we use only don't, okay? Don't, very good. So let's try, let's try to structure some imperative sentences using no for prohibitions, okay? For prohibitions, something that it is prohibited, for example, uh, don't smoke. Don't smoke uh, in this area, okay? Correct. Can you give me another example like that one? Silent, please. Very good. Uh, we could say silence, okay? Silence, please. Mm -hmm. We I could also... use the, the expression uh, negative, but positive. Oh, yes, in you're the, right. In the hospital, uh, don't don't speak now and say okay. silent please okay good correct open the door okay thank you now what do you think in a negative uh, way to say something in a negative an order of not doing something don't don't okay can you give me an example with don't. Um, don't eat in the classroom. Very good. Don't eat in the classroom. Very good. So if you see, we can use imperative sentences in an affirmative way, positive or in a negative way. Even though these commands, these commands could be uh, used as an order saying please to be polite, to make this politely, okay? Muchas veces las personas se pueden sentir ofendidas, ¿verdad? Cuando les dice uno, hey, be quiet. No, please, be quiet, okay? For example, when you say silence, please, you could also say, Please be quiet, okay? There you are. Okay, guys. Do you have any question about the imperative sentences?
No questions? Okay, then I'm going to give you an instruction. Please, everybody go to the manual, okay? Let's open your manuals. So we are going to see in page 23. Page 23. This is what we were uh, writing on that slide. And let's see with the activities that we usually do in our workplaces, okay? Now, can you please read this, uh, this text that we have at the beginning of the page? Giovanni, please. How to use commands to order, to order or tell someone to do something. Okay. This is giving an order or telling someone to do something for us, right? Or for... Uh, for the functions and maybe your area, your department, or maybe in your workplace, okay? So let's see, commands, commands, commands. Now, what do we use? What word is the one that makes it polite? Everybody say, please, okay? Please, it can be at the beginning and it can be at the end. Now, let's see. Please write a check. Please write a check. Next one. Please send a memo. Please send a memo. Next, please check the report. Next one, supervise the employees, please. Supervise the employees, please. Go to a meeting, please. Go to a meeting, please. Now, Wendy, can you please read number one using please? Please. Write a check. Thank you. Ana Cristina, next. Please send a memo. Very good. Karina, next. Please check the report. Thank you. Edwin, next one. Please super, supervise the employers. Very good. Now let's see. Here we have. Juan Carlos, please, the last one. Go to a meeting, please. Okay, thank you very much. Now we're going to do this. We need to think about six things that your classmates boss needs to do tomorrow, okay? needs him or her to do tomorrow. So, what does it mean? Ah, esto significa que vamos a pensar esas seis cosas que, por ejemplo, el jefe de Carla quiere que estén hechas mañana. Ok. O podemos decir seis cosas que el jefe de Raquel quiere que ella haga mañana. Ok. Vamos a pensar así. Vamos a pensar seis cosas que ustedes creen que el jefe quiere que estén hechas mañana. 
pero de un compañero suyo. ¿Ok? Leamos la pregunta. Let's read the question. What do you think your classmate's boss wants him or her in this case to do tomorrow? Vamos a cambiar este him or her, lo vamos a cambiar por el nombre de uno de ustedes. ¿Ok? Vamos a decir así en la pregunta. Esta es una frase, chicos, que nunca va a cambiar. ¿Ok? Cuando queremos preguntar qué cosas quiere que su jefe haga mañana, se dice de esta manera. ¿Ok? So, vamos a decir, for example, Carla, right? Then, what do you think your classmate's boss wants Carla to do tomorrow? Okay, wants Carla to do tomorrow. In this case, we could say Carla's boss. Okay, Carla's boss. Here. And we're going to say her. Okay. What do you think? No. Ah, sorry, sorry. This moved. Let's try to select it and then text. There we are. Now, what do you think Carla's boss wants her to do tomorrow? Okay. What do you think Carla's boss wants her to do tomorrow? Esta es una pregunta que nunca va a cambiar. Lo que va a cambiar es el nombre de quién es el jefe. Okay. Y eh, si es él o ella. En todo caso sería así. Carlos. Ok. Why do you think Carlos boss wants him to do tomorrow? Ok. Why do you think Carlos boss wants him to do tomorrow? Correct. Ahora pensemos las cosas. Now let's think the things that you think this boss is going to ask. Okay? Let's start. What do you think? Everybody, what do you think? Activities. Teacher. Uh huh. That is in the manual. Yes. In what page? Let me see because I said at the beginning, but let me see it. It is page 23. Thank you. Okay. Okay, everybody. What do you think? Lo hacemos con Carlos o con Carla. Hey, you see, Carla o Carlos. Con Carla primero, ok? With Carla first. Everybody, thinking about the things that you think that Carla is going to do for her bus tomorrow. Ok? Everybody. I check the inventory. Ok, then. Uh, I have one. Carla's uh -huh. boss uh -huh. needs okay. to send the memo. Okay, Carlos, Bus, Needs, uh -huh. Descend the Memo. Look, look, Hair, you see? Hair oh. to send the memo. The memo, yeah. Okay. I forget that. Okay, no problem, no problem. Ahorita no estamos viendo gramática ni nada por el estilo. Esta es una frase que siempre se va a decir así. Ahorita no podemos decir, mire, ¿y por qué? Uh, no, solo usémosla, ¿ok? Usémosla y no pensemos en la regla gramatical por este momento. Mucho más adelante la vamos a ver. Esto es muy importante para decir las cosas que quiere que se haga. Esa sería la, 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 la frase, ¿ok? 
Carla's boss needs her to send the memo, okay? Carla's boss needs her to send the memo. That's a very good sentence, Maria Elena. Thank you very much. Next one, let's think about another. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, teacher. Uh-huh. Um, Carlos. Oh, Carla or Carlos? It's okay. It's okay with Carlos. Let's see with Carlos to see the other structure. Okay. Okay. Good. Carlos. Carlos boss mm -hmm. need him to check the inventory. Needs him. Uh-huh. To check the inventory. Okay. Thank you. It's a very good sentence. Now let's see another. I forgot letter S here. Let me add letter S. Mm -hmm. Okay, next. Let's Carlos. Uh huh. Carla's boss uh -huh. needs her to call the clients. Very good. Carla's boss needs her needs to her call the clients. Thank you very much. To let's say call clients at this moment, okay? Okay. 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 Uh -huh. There you are. Let uh, let's say call clients because that's easier at the moment. Now let's continue another one. We need three more. Let's think about Carlos now. Carlos boss mm -hmm. needs need him to send report. To send a report, very good. There you are. I forgot letter S here. Let me select it. Okay, another one. Another example, guys, another activity. Um, Carlos, Carlos Bos. I'm sorry, Carla Bos, uh-huh. Carlos Bos needs her to write the memo. Very good. Ahora, quiero que noten algo bien interesante. Iniciamos con need, ¿verdad? Porque fue el ejemplo de María Elena. La pregunta que nos han hecho es want. Want. Want es un poquito menos que necesitar, ¿verdad? Menos urgente que necesitar. ¿Sí? Uh, es como eh, que debe estar hecho y yo quiero que usted lo haga. Ok, la, el verbo, quiero que usted lo haga. Pero si ya es un poquito más urgente, digo, necesito que usted lo haga, right? Entonces, aquí podríamos decir wants, ok? Aquí podríamos decir wants or needs. It's ok at the moment that we think about a necessity. But here we are talking about something that they want to be done, ok? Me teacher. Okay, go ahead. Carla's boss want to hear to go for pupusas. Hey, good. Is that an urgency? <laughs> <laughs> Carla's yes. boss wants her uh -huh, to, to, go go, to go for pupusas. For pupusas. Okay, good. Very good. Did you see? Nice. I think Jonathan is hungry now, right? <laughs> uh -huh. 
eh, se podría también Ajá. Eh, Carlos Vos New More Production uh, uh, Excuse me, uh, can you repeat it? I okay. think I didn't get it Carlos Vos mm -hmm. New Vos uh, New este, More Production Carlos Vos Needs uh, More Production More Production more. Uh, es, es una es una eh, oración correcta correcta gramati gramaticalmente pero no expresa que necesita que alguien haga eso ok for example oh. we could say uh, needs carlos boss needs uh, the employees ok The employees, ya no estamos diciendo him, right? Him. Uh, oh, pongamos him para no confundirnos más, ¿ok? Ok, needs him to produce more, ¿ok? Ahí sí ya diríamos, ah, él quiere que produzca más, ¿ok? Lo que estamos viendo es, ¿cómo se dice? Que alguien haga algo por alguien. ¿Ok? ¿Sí? For example, in this case, yo podría decir. I want um, Raquel. ¿Ok? I want uh, I want Raquel. No, 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 no. I want her to do, right? I want her to do. In this case, it's Raquel too, okay? So, her to speak, speak louder, okay? Yo quiero que ella, yo quiero que ella, okay? Así se dice. I want her to. Yo quiero que ella. ¿Ok? Y si quiero que él, digo, I want him to. ¿Ok? For example, we are talking about Vladimir. ¿Ok? Then we say, I want him to turn on his camera. ¿Ok? Yo quiero que él encienda su cámara. Estoy diciendo que haga algo que yo quiero que él haga algo. ¿Ok? I want, I want him to. I want her to. ¿Ok? It's the same here. He needs or wants. ¿Ok? Ahora, para... Si usted quiere que, y yo lo estoy diciendo, ya es más complicado, pero es exactamente, o sea, el pensamiento es más complicado, pero la estructura es lo mismo. You want her to buy some uh, soda, ¿ok? You want her to buy some soda. Yo, usted quiere que ella. ¿Ok? O tú quieres que ella. ¿Ok? ¿Got it? No grammar, just expression. ¿Ok? Just expression. Lo mismo sería si habláramos de todos los empleados. ¿Ok? They. ¿Ok? They want him, the boss, right? him to come early. Okay? Ellos quieren que, hablando que el jefe, right? They want him to come early. Ellos quieren que él, okay? Entonces, cuando usamos I, you, we, and they, no agregamos la letra S a want, ni a need, okay? Pero si decimos he or she, entonces sí agregamos la letra S al verbo. ¿Ok? ¿Correcto? Bien. 
Do you have any question about this? Or are we okay? Okay, let's go to the next page. Okay, let's go to the next page. Let me erase this. Okay, we're going to read this. This is just a reading. Someone is talking about the things that he does every day. And it's very important because this is a very busy life, right? So I'm going to play the audio and you are going to pay attention, okay? Here we are. Let me play the audio. Everybody, please read along. Read along means ustedes leen con la lectura, con el audio, okay? Hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in an office. I'm a human resources manager. Every day I check emails for the company. I always answer the phone and talk to the potential employees. Generally, I attend meetings in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. In my company, we always have events. We have to attend a conference on July 21st, and then we have to attend a meeting about the conference on July 22nd. I'm always busy. Okay, let's listen to that again. Hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in an office. I'm a human resources manager. Every day I check emails for the company. I always answer the phone and talk to the potential employees. Generally, I attend meetings in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. In my company, we always have events. We have to attend a conference on July 21st, and then we have to attend a meeting about the conference on July 22nd. I'm always busy. Okay. Omar, can you please read this paragraph? Okay. Um, good evening, teacher. Hi. Good evening, Omar. Um, Welcome. Hello, my name is Joe Wilson. It's excuse me, teacher. Welcome. Okay. Oh, okay. Hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in an in an office. Um, okay, okay. Omar? Manager. Omar? <laughs> Every day. I check email for the company. I always answer the phone and talk to potential employees. Okay. Yes, teacher? Okay, I'm sorry, but we were having problems with hearing you, okay? We barely hear you because it was very slow. You had interference. So it's okay. At this moment, we are going to change. Thank you very much for the part that you read. Okay, now you okay. stop. Thank you. Okay. Now Go let's ahead. now let's see. Let's see. I need Kevin, please read the paragraph. Um, hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in an office. I'm a human resource manager. 
every day I check emails for the company. I always answer the phone and talk to potential employees. Generally, I, I attend meetings in the morning and not, not so often in the afternoon. And my company, we always had events. We had to attend a conference on July uh, 21, 21st. 21st. Um, and then we had to attend a meeting about the conference on July uh, 22. 22nd. 22nd. Sorry. I am always busy. Okay, thank you very much, Kevin. What are we going to do now? I'm going to play the audio and I want to see you moving your lips that you are reading out loud. Okay, you are reading out loud. Están leyendo en voz alta, pero escuchando el audio. Okay, uh, no activen su audio, solo quiero ver sus labios moviéndose. Okay, your lips moving. There you are. Hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in an office. I'm a human resources manager. Every day I check emails for the company. I always answer the phone and talk to the potential employees. Generally, I attend meetings in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. In my company, we always have events. We have to attend a conference on July 21st. And then we have to attend a meeting about the conference on July 22nd. I'm always busy. Okay, now we are going to do the activity. The activity is that we have to read the sentence. They gave us a, a sentence here. They are seven sentences. And we are going to say, if the sentence is correct, then we don't change nothing. Okay, we, we don't change anything, I'm sorry. We don't change anything. But if the sentence is wrong, then we are going to correct to write the correct sentence, okay? We are going to write the correct sentence if it is wrong. If it is not wrong, then we don't change anything. Let's see number one. Number one. Is it correct or is it incorrect? Incorrect. Correct. Okay, then what is the correct sentence? His name is John Wilson. His name is John Wilson. Very good. His name is John Wilson. Excellent. Number two. Incorrect. Incorrect. Why is it incorrect? Because every day I uh, check emails. I don't mirror. Okay, then let's uh, let's write the correct answer. What will be the correct uh, sentence? The correct sentence. He, he a mirror. Remember that for the third person we add a letter S. Remember. Uh huh. He checked the email. Every day, email. Every day. Every day. Okay, let me go with this. Uh, this will be number one. We said uh, his name is Joan Wilson, right? This is the correct sentence. Number two, sentence number two. It says he writes reports every day. You said it is incorrect. It's so what correct. is the correct one? He checks email for he, the company. Excellent. He checks. Uh -huh. Okay. Number three. Is it correct? correct. 
Yeah. All right. Yes, it's correct. It's incorrect. Why is it he never uh, hands were because he because never. he always hands were the phone and talk to the potential yeah. employees. Ah, mm. so he doesn't talk to customers. He talks mm. to potential, no. employees, potential employees, right? So it is incorrect. Aha. Uh -huh. Number three, it says he always. Uh, well, it is, I'm sorry. Uh, you said it's incorrect or is it correct? Who said the last one? It's incorrect. correct. It's correct. It's correct. correct. He, <laughs> he never hands were the phone. And talk to com customers, okay? Part is incorrect and part is correct. Let's say like philosophy, right? Como filosofía. Hey. Uh, who uh -huh. has said it's, it's, philosophy? It's incorrect. Is incorrect. Correct is um what? I think all is Ill, all is incorrect because uh, I say he never answered the phone. He el, he, he always ah. answered the phone. Uh huh. And tell, tell the customer. And he talked to the potential employees, not with the with okay, the customers. Okay, then. Then let's write the correct uh, uh, sentence in the paragraph, okay? In the paragraph, no. it says he always, yes. mm -hmm. he the always phone. answer the phone, uh-huh. And talk to the poten potential employer. Okay. Okay, here we have two things. Podría ser que sería correcta, ¿verdad? Podría ser que sería correcta, pero... Mitad y mitad. Exactly. Uh, no, uh, sería incorrecta, I mean, sería correcta toda porque las dos cosas son falsas, right? He never answers the phone, as false. And talk, the custo talk to customers, that's false. So I think it is correct. But let's write the correct sentence that we have in the paragraph. Okay, correct. So number four. What do you think about number four? It's correct. Remember always to write letter S. In incorrect. On the verb, okay. Why it is incorrect? He often attends meetings in the morning, uh-huh. It's he correct. It's correct. Because he, he attends meetings in the morning. Okay. And not so often in the afternoon. Okay. So this not so often means that often attend meetings in the morning, right? So it is okay. Number five, uh, we're going to write here correct. And number five? It's correct. Is it correct? Incorrect. Incorrect. It's incorrect. Okay. Tell me what is the correct thing? He attend a meetings in the morning. The afternoon. Uh-huh. Okay, it says not so often. Not so often. It doesn't say never, right? It doesn't say yeah. never in the afternoon. It says not so often. And here in number five, it says never attends. What do you think? Is it correct or incorrect? It's correct. Or incorrect. It's incorrect, right? Now, let's write the correct sentence according to the paragraph. He. Mm -hmm. He not so, so often attends meeting in the afternoon. Correct. He not so often. Attends, remember letter S in the verb because we are talking about he, right? Uh, he not so often attends meeting in the afternoons. Okay, in the afternoon. 
Uh, number six, what do you think about number six? It's correct. Is it correct? Yes, because usually you have an event in the it's company. It's incorrect because yes. he always, oh. not usually. Important point. Yes. Uh -huh. Correct. Uh -huh. Okay, then what will be the correct sentence for number six? He always he, has events uh -huh. in his company. In his company. There you are. Number seven. What do you think about number seven? Is incorrect because he attends the meeting. Oh, it and says the I conference on July 22nd. Yes, it's correct. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's correct. Uh -huh. It's correct. Uh huh. Let's see. When is the conference? When is the conference? July twenty. On July twenty second. Are you sure? <laughs> think, think. Hey, that that's nice. I like the two the two days. Uh -huh. I guess. Okay, it says first we have to attend a conference on July 21st. July 21st. So when when is the conference? The conference is August. July 21st. Okay, so he doesn't have to go. He doesn't have to go to a conference on July 22nd. He has to attend a meeting, a meeting about, about the, conference. the conference he went yesterday, right? So the correct one will be he has to attend, right? To attend a meeting about the conference on July 22nd. Y de este pueden salir dos oraciones, ¿verdad? Ya se fijaron. He has to attend a meeting about the conference on July 22nd. So it was incorrect over there. La otra oración que podría salir sería he has to go to a conference on July 21st. Okay? Let's write it down. He has to go to a conference on July 21st. Correct? Cualquiera de las dos está buena para la número siete. Correct? Okay, I'm going to erase this text. And let's listen to the audio again and read along, okay? Hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in an office. I'm a human resources manager. Every day I check emails for the company. I always answer the phone and talk to the potential employees. Generally, I attend meetings in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. In my company, we always have events. We have to attend a conference on July 21st, and then we have to attend a meeting about the conference on July 22nd. I'm always busy. Okay, there you are. 
Now let's go to the manuals again. Let's go back to the manuals because in the manual we'll have another conversation that is very important. It's a very short conversation. So let me get it. Okay, let me go there. And we are going to see about urgency, right? Stating urgency. Things that need to be done and things that have to be done. So let's see. Mark and Brie are talking, okay? Mar Mark and Brie are talking. I'm going to read the conversation and I want you to notice the expressions to state urgency. I really need that memo, Brie. Just a moment, please. I need to speak to Mr. Wilson, please. It's very important right away, okay? Now let's listen, Carla and Jonathan. Jonathan, Mark, Carla, Brie. All the paragraph. No, 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 the conversation. Oh, okay, all the conversation, complete. You, you are Mark, you are okay. Mark. Okay, I really need that mammal, Brie. Just a moment, please. I need to speak to Mr. Wilson. Please, it's very important. Right away. Okay. Digamos todos. Right away. Right away. Everybody, right away. let's repeat. Right away. 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 Bless you, teacher. <laughs> okay, thank you. Yeah, I've got something. Drink a beer. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. Sorry. 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 I, I think it will be better if I drink a little of water. But uh, just give me one second and let's share. Let's share this. Okay, we were repeat. You were repeating after me. So, right away. Right away. Right away. Okay. Uh, cuando decimos just a moment, esa palabra just es muy común en inglés y es importante que la sepamos usar esta frase just a moment. Solo un momentito, eh? Eso significa just a moment. Just a moment. Everybody, please repeat after me. Just a moment. 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 I want to hear you guys because I uh, oigo que dicen just a moment. No, just a moment. 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 Okay, then here we have two expressions. Here in this box, we have two expressions. Can you read it, please? Everybody activate your audio and read this, the expressions to stay urgency. It's very, it's very important. Very important. It's very important. I really need it. I really need it. I really need it. I really need it. 
I really need. Okay. I really need. I really need. For example, when you say, please, 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 está rogando, ¿verdad? Cuando alguien está rogando que, por favor, por favor, por favor. Okay, we say, uh, y también decimos, por favor, por favorcito. Okay, but because you are, you need something, then you say, please, 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 pretty, please. Okay, but <clears throat> that's not for a stating urgency, more for uh, begging, right? For begging, rogando. Okay, then when you have something very important to be done, then you use this. It's very important. Okay, it's very important. And when I say I really need, I really need, you have to, mm -hmm, you have to strong your voice in need. Okay, need, strong voice, need. It's very important. Important is the strong voice, okay? To state urgency. Now, we, uh -huh. the attendance list. Thank you very much. Here we are. Alejandra Vanessa Mora Rodriguez. Alexis Antonio Sandoval Morales, Ana Cristina Chavarría Flores, present teacher. Ana del Carmen Mejía Álvarez, present teacher. Astrid Tatiana Jiménez Ramírez, Vladimir Antonio present Santos, teacher. okay Astrid, Vladimir Antonio Santos Valdivieso, present teacher. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez, present teacher. Giovanni Alexander Ramirez Sánchez. Present teacher. Jonathan Ernesto Fuentes Marín. Present. José Atilio Mangan de Alvarado. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Present teacher. Karina Noemí Álvarez Mejía. Present. Carla Verónica Suria López. Present. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Present. Luis Roberto Mejía Menéndez. María Elena Romero de Galvez. Present teacher. Nancy Beto Rivera. Present teacher. Auri Elena Segovia Rugamas. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Present. Félix Moisés Blanco Araniva. Javier Adolfo Mendoza Tobar. Raquel. Raquel, Raquel. Let's see, Raquel. <coughs> Third, second, me and me. Third, me, third. me too, teacher. Fourth. Okay, let's see. Nancy Beto Barrivera, Omar Alfredo Mosso Flores. From the Mr. Sancho, three days to the three hours, eight day call the new call. Omar new Alfredo Mosso Flores. Present teacher. Okay. Okay. Raquel okay. Judith Vázquez de Córdoba. Information for Wendy Xiomara Núñez. How okay. to do it. There we are. Okay. Each day. It's very important to say the two last salaries report on May mm, 26. The practice. Yeah, but who is reading? Because I don't see mouths. I think it was Astrid, right? No. Who was reading? <laughs> no, but very good because you are practicing. It's good. It's good. <laughs> it's okay. Now let's continue with our manuals, okay? 
let's continue because I want to ask you something. How, um, do you ever send emails in English? Do you ever send emails in English? ¿Alguna vez envían o necesitan enviar eh, emails en inglés? ¿O lo han hecho en algún momento? Never. Pero han recibido, ¿verdad? Han recibido algún email en inglés. Right? Okay. Yes. Yeah. You, okay. Now, let's think about an email. Okay, let's think about an email. Okay, when you are sending the email, you have to think about the person who is receiving that email. And we need an address, right? An email address. Do you know how to read email addresses? Do you know how to read email addresses? Okay, let's go and see in our manuals because in our manuals we have an email. This is the next activity that we have there. Okay. Here we are. And this email, Daniel Ruiz is stating urgency in the things that need to be done. So let's think. Can you read this email address? Daniel Ruiz at Graver.com. Thank you very much. Anyone else? Let's see, Nancy. Um. Daniel Ruiz, um, arroba, no sé cómo se dice. At. At Traver. Um, punto, tampoco. That. That. T O M. Ok, entonces decimos dot com. Dot com. Para punto com, decimos dot com. Ok, okay. let's read it Thank again, you. everyone. Let's read it. This email is coming from Daniel Ruiz at Travers.com. Daniel Ruiz at Travers.com. Travers we could say Daniel Ruiz, right? <laughs> but also we can say Daniel Ruiz at Travers.com. Now let's read. What is the subject about? What is the subject about? Lo que llamamos asunto, right? What is the subject? Very important that for this month. Tasks. Tasks. That's tasks. That's for this month. Okay, thank you. Everybody say tasks for this month. Mm -hmm. for this month. Okay. Okay. Tasks are activities or responsibilities. Okay. We're talking about the same thing. Tasks for this month. Let's read then. Who is the receiver? Who is the receiver? Guadalupe. Okay. Then, ¿ustedes ya han escrito algún eh, email o alguna carta en inglés? No, this year, I not. Okay. En no, español, no. ¿qué es lo primero que hacemos? Estimado. Saludamos. Saludamos. Saludo. Estimado. Exactly. Exactly. So, nuestro encabezado, nuestro um, saludo in English is a formal thing here. It's a formal email. So, we say dear. D 
Dear Guadalupe. Dear Guadalupe. Okay. Dear Guadalupe. For example, I'm going to send an email for Giovanni. Okay. I'm I'm sending this email to Giovanni. Then I say, Dear Giovanni. Okay. Or if I sending this to Carlos, Dear Carlos. Okay. Aquí no le estamos diciendo querido. No, 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 no. Aquí estamos diciendo estimado, right? Estimado. It's a formal thing. Very formal thing. Now, let's read it. These are some of the tasks for this month. I really need you to contact the first three potential customers in the list from Mr. Sanchez. You have three days to do it, three hours each day. Call the new clients from the last three weeks and give them the two latest sales report on May 26th. And then write a new welcome letter for the new customers. You have one day to do it, four hours. Finally, visit the two stores in Santa Tecla. You have two days to do it, two hours each day. Organize your week. Thank you, best regards, Daniel Ruiz. Esta es la forma de despedirse, miren. Best regards, okay? Best regards. This is Saludos formales o cordiales, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, then let's see. Let's read it again. Y veamos las actividades que tiene que hacer. What are the tasks? I really need you to contact the first three potential customers in the list from Mr. Sanchez. You have three days to do it. Three hours each day. Call the new clients from the last three weeks and give them the, cata the catalog information for you. You have two days to do it, one hour each day. It's very important to send the two latest sales report on May 26th and then write a new welcome letter for the new customers. You have one day to do it, four hours. Finally, Visit the two stores in Santa Tecla. You have two days to do it, two hours each day. Organize your week. Thank you. Best regards, Daniel Ruiz. What is the instructions and what are we going to do? Organize the activities, okay? Organize the activities Guadalupe needs to do by importance. Organize the activities Guadalupe needs to do by importance. Now, let's see, we have to say first activity, second activity, third activity, and fourth activity. Let's see. What I do you think? think Mm -hmm. uh, the number first, it, uh, she has to call the new client for the last three weeks and give them the catalog information for you. Okay, that will be the second. Mm, mm, no, I think it's the first because uh, she has two days uh -huh. and one hour each day. Okay. Um, I think if the number one, mm -hmm. um, send the, the two last sales reports on May 26th and write the and write a new welcome letter for for the new customers because she only have one day to do it. Uh, that's true. Yes. Okay, that's what you <laughs> I don't read it. <laughs> okay, so you yeah. think you think it is uh 
You think it is to write the letter, right? Yeah, it's one day and, and four hours. I like to say, Cari. Okay, what do you think, guys? Ok, vamos a tomar nada más cinco minutitos para hacer esta actividad. Así que los voy a mandar a los... Uh, we are going to split into the breakout rooms and uh, you are going to work in pairs, ok? Before you go, before you go, please use your vocabulary. Don't speak Spanish. Use practice English, okay? There you are. Hello, Raquel. Hello, Carla. Me escucha. Cortado, pero medio lo puedo escuchar. Permítame, creo que tengo problemas. Me escucha. Yes, yes. Ok. okay. Uh, what do you think the first activity? Solo que no tengo la, la conversación. No le tomé captura. Te voy a mandar una. Sí. <tose> Ok, le envié en el grupo. Ok, ya, ya, ya la vi. Ok. okay. Thank you. Eh. Mm -hmm. eh, number one. I think call the new client from the last three weeks. Okay. In the conversation, in the, in a, según el, el email, estaba contando los días.
You have two days to, to send it one hour each day. Esa sería la segunda, no. Mm. To last, uh, to last, last thing, sad report. Uh, to let. Ready new to contact potential. Mr. Sanchez, you have to do the call on your plans. No. Sería call new clients, call new clients, como llamar nuevos clientes. Eh, the last three weekends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hello, how is it going? Hello. <laughs> I, I see that you are uh, doing a good job because you say call clients, right? You said call clients, call new clients. I, I, I think you said. Como estamos contestando de Guadalupe, nosotros decimos Guadalupe, ¿verdad? Yes, or you could only say the activity if you want, but if, uh, mm -hmm. but in this case could be the same thing as the beginning because we said uh, Daniel wants Guadalupe too, okay? okay. Uh -huh. In the second, uh, call the new clients from the last three weeks. Uh -huh, it could be like that. Uh -huh. Just remember, for example, if you are going to write it as we said at the beginning, you could say sí. Daniel needs, right? Remember, because he says, I really need. He says like that in, in the email, right? So, okay. Daniel needs Guadalupe to call the new clients, right? In the second. Yes, this was what, this was the number one. From the last three weeks. Okay, number two will be, and uh, I mean, second. Uh huh. The, the second. Uh huh. Uh huh. He likes to with a hit. Call the new clients. And the second? Ah, no, es que la primera era eh, new to contact three potential customer. Is correct, teacher? Uh, well, it's, yeah. it's your list. It's your list and you are, you, ah, you are organizing, yeah. right? Ahorita ustedes oh. están organizándole la, la semana, right? Entonces, Puede ser una, puede ser la otra. Hagámosla de acuerdo a como ustedes lo interpretan y luego en pleno decimos ahí más o menos cómo va, ¿ok? Ok. Uh -huh. Pero esta sería como la, la estructura, si ustedes lo quieren hacer como la estructura para practicarlo, ¿verdad? Que sería lo mejor. Y luego, la actividad, de activity, it's only called clients, right? 
all the new clients. I, I, I don't remember exactly because I'm not seeing the, the, the email, but something like this, okay? Something like this. You get it? Do you have any questions? No questions. No question. Okay, continue, girls. You are doing a good job. Hey, did you notice? Did you notice that you are always together in the lists and uh, and the system also gets you together, Anna and Anna, right? Yes. Uh huh. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's very interesting. Uh huh. It's very interesting. Las tocayas. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, girls, continue working and let's meet us uh, later, okay? Okay. okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay, my dear students, what do you think? Can you tell me what will be the first activity or the first task that Daniel needs Guadalupe to do? Send it to last sale reports on May. Okay, that will be the first one. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. what will be the second? Contact the first three potential customers in the list from Mr. Sanchez. Okay, and now uh, the third one. Call the new clients for from the last three weeks and give them the catalog information for you. Catalog, yeah, okay. And the fourth, I, I remember, right? The fourth one. Visit the two stores in Santa Tecla. Okay, that's what Karina, uh, Karina, who were you working uh, with? With Carlos. Okay, then, okay, do you agree with them? Do you agree? Everybody? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I, I think everybody, I mean, everyone. I'm asking to everyone. Okay, do you agree? Yes, teacher, they did a good job. Excellent. Hey, come on. <laughs> Tell me something. I need to hear you guys. I need to hear you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Very good. Okay. In order of importance, and I don't know what was the criteria that you uh, think about doing this. ¿Ustedes qué tomaron de criterio? ¿De ¿El tiempo o la actividad? The time. Mm. The uh, spectrum, the, the state urgency. Okay. Uh -huh. The time, right? The time that this person has to do these tasks, okay? That's urgency. Yes, correct. But maybe one task is more important than the other, right? Maybe one task, one task, I'm sorry, is what needs to be done before doing another one. Sí, ¿verdad? Porque a veces puede ser que si usted no hace una actividad primero, la otra no se puede hacer, right? So, uh, talking about importance, talking about importance, we have to see both 
things. We have to see uh, urgency because of the activity and because of the time, okay? Because of the time and because of the activity. Okay, well, I will say this is just uh, my, my thing is that if this uh, Daniel is saying something in, uh, in order, maybe he done his list before, right? Maybe, this is what I think. Maybe he did the list before writing, right? He didn't write it just because, right? No, but the person who received the email has to check the importance of the things. So yes, thank you very much, Karina. And thank you very much, Carlos, for uh, sharing your answers. Now, let's see. Giovanni, uh, who did you work with? Who was your partner? Giovanni. Con quien trabajó, bueno, Giovanni? Ahorita, ahorita, quedó. Con quien trabajó, Giovanni? Wendy. OK, let's see, Wendy and Giovanni. Share your list. First, it is very important to send the two last sales report on May 26th. Okay, that's your first thing in the list. Mm -hmm. What's the second? Mm, call the new client from the last three weeks. Okay, and, and give then? them the catalog information for June. Okay, now uh, what will be the, the next one, the next activity? Three. Visit. Visit este the two store in Santa Santa Tecla. Okay. E and four. Okay. Contact the first three in potential. Potential. Mm -hmm. Potential customers in the list from Mr. Sanchez. Okay, okay. And fourth? This is the, uh, that, that is the fourth. Contact, contact to first three potential. Okay. Is four. Okay, then, well, my list, I'm going to share my list with you, okay? I'm going to share my, my list. It will be number one, call the new clients, okay? That will be mine, call the new clients. Number two, I think it is to give the clients the catalog information, okay? And number three, I think it will be to write a new welcome letter for the new customers, okay? And number four, I think it will be visit the two stores in Santa Tecla, okay? That is, that is my idea, right? That is my idea and uh, maybe it's my organization, right? It's my time stating urgency according to the tasks, according to the tasks. Now, Karina and Carlos and uh, Giovanni and Wendy said according to the time, right? According to the time. So it is, it is good. It is good. Now, let's continue with our manuals because in our manuals, we have something very important. And this is the, the main topic from today, for today. Uh, let me get there. We are going to learn how to say I need or I have, okay? I need to or I have to. Let's see the difference here, okay? Let's see the difference. Let me share the screen. We're gonna see a conversation. 
John and Anne, okay? And are talking and there are things that need to be done. So let's see, Anne, is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually I need to call some clients and you? Well, I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customers. That sounds interesting. Again, Anne, is there something you need to do tomorrow? Uh, it was John, I'm, so, I'm sorry, John. Anne, is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually I need to call some clients and you? Well, I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide him for him. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm having some trouble. Uh, just give me one little second. I'm sorry. Just. Falte, Guaru. <laughs> Nos va a pasar el COVID. <clears throat> don't, be, don't be so mean. I saw you. I hear you. <laughs> oh. I didn't want to show my cup. My cup is from Masha. That's why I didn't want to show it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <clears throat> sorry, sorry. Uh, <clears throat> okay, let's continue. Something's happening to me, but don't worry. I think. <clears throat> I think everything is okay. Okay, Anne, is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call some clients and you? Well, I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customers. That sounds interesting. So now, everybody, please um, repeat after me the conversation. Anne, is there something you need to do tomorrow? Um, um, is there some time you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call some clients. And you? Yes, actually, I need to call some clients. Well, I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. Well, well, I have to schedule two meetings for They were canceled today. They were, they were, they were canceled, canceled today. today. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, that's, oh, that's, that's too bad. bad. That's too bad. Yeah. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customers. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customers. To some customers. That sounds interesting. That sounds interesting. That sounds interesting. 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 Okay, interesting. 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 Okay, interesting. There you are. So now we want to hear Juan Carlos and Nancy, please. Juan Carlos Joan and Nancy Ann. And is there some time to news to tomorrow? Yes, actually I need to call some clean and you? Well, I have to re reschedule. Reschedule, reschedule. <laughs> Rescheduled two meetings for the morrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that too bad. Too bad. 
case I have to provide important information to some customer. That so interest. interest. Okay, thank you very much, guys. So let's see. <clears throat> let's discuss this. How do Anne and Joan express their obligations? How do Anne and Joan express their obligations? Let's yes. see the conversation. Uh huh. For exactly for obligations, Joan says, I have to reschedule, right? And Anne says, need, okay? I need to call, I need to call. But let's see, the obligations are expressed by I have to provide, I have to, I have to reschedule, I have to. Okay, now let's continue. Okay, what are the verbs that we use for obligations or when we want to express necessities or needs? Let's see, the verbs are have to and need to, need to. So, this is the activity for this example. So we could say, for example, let me get a text box here and we are going to add a subject, okay? Let's add a subject. For example, I will say, I have to prepare a document for my boss. <laughs> Okay, I have to prepare a document for my boss. Okay, let's see. If it is you, okay, you have to prepare a document, okay? Next one will be <clears throat> she. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ya no sería have to, ¿verdad? Tendría has que to. ser. Okay. Has. has to prepare a document. What about he? Has to. Okay. Okay. What about we? Have. Correct. Now, what about they? How? Have. Okay. Do you prefer a dog? Then, if you see, is the same treatment, okay? Es el mismo tratamiento que se le da al verbo. Se conjuga de la misma manera. Hey, I'm sorry, Maria, Elena, I think. Yes, you're tired, but just yeah. a little, just a little moment more, okay? Just a little minute more. Okay. Then what about need? What about need? For I, you, we, and they, we say need to. Need to. Okay. Need to. Let's say a necessity, need to have lunch early, okay? Need to have lunch early, it's a necessity, okay? It's a necessity. So let's think about he or she or it will be needs. Remember letter S after the verb, needs, needs. Mm -hmm to have lunch early.
Ok. ¿Cuál sería la diferencia si yo digo que ellos tienen que preparar el documento a que si yo dijera they need to prepare a document? It's plural. Ok, hablando de need y de have. Talking about have and need. What will be the difference here? What will be the difference? ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Obligation or necessity. Ok. Obligation. Like a responsibility, right? Like a responsibility. What about if I use a need? It's a necessity. Uh, it's a necessity. But maybe it's for uh, big, uh, for that is more urgent, okay? Maybe it's more urgent, or maybe it's something that needs to be uh, done just in, in, immediately, immediately. Yes, it could be like that too. It could be like that too. But for example, si no fuera por urgencia, también esto de necesidades, por ejemplo, que fuera un requerimiento para alguna. Eh, algún trámite, right? So you need to prepare that document. It's not that you have to, right? It's that you need to prepare that. Okay, at the moment, do you have any question about this thing? About obligations and necessities? No, teacher. No? No question. Okay, let's take two minutes. Okay, let's take two minutes and let's write about something you have to or need to do these days. Okay, these next days. So let's think when, when, what time and where. Okay, when, what time and where. Mm -hmm. When do you need the car? Oh, good. When do you need the car? Okay, very good. Now let's think about uh, another question with what time? What time is it? Uh, yes, but let's remember have to oh. and need to. Oh, yeah. uh -huh. Mm -hmm. What time? I need a lunch. Okay, what time do you need to have lunch? Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Where? Where? Let's think about a question using where. Where do you need? the materials okay where do you need the materials okay the raw materials it's okay so let's think about have to okay let's use have to uh-huh let's see What time do you have a work? What time do you have to work? Okay, that's a very good thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's think, let's think that you have a conference these days. Okay, a conference, have a conference. So let's say, when do you have a conference? When do you have a conference? Tell me when. In the morning will be the, the answer, right? When do you have, uh, I'm sorry, when do you have to attend a conference? When do you have to attend a conference? In the morning. Now, let's see, what time do you have to attend a conference? What time do you have to attend a conference? Let's say eight in the morning, right? Eight o'clock. Now, where? Where do you have to attend a conference? Where do you have to attend a conference? What could be the answer? In the auditorium and the meeting room. 
And the waiting room, oh, wherever, right? A conference, a conference. Maybe in the training center, right? In the training center. So this is uh, just to have an idea of that. But now let's continue and let's take two more minutes and say the activities you have to or need to do in your job. So let's think about a list. Let's see your list, your list. Um, let's make the list for everybody here. Hagamos la lista en una forma diferente. Hagamos la lista de cosas que tenemos que hacer aquí en la clase. Okay, things that we have to do in this class and things that we need to do in this class. <clears throat> We had to turn on the camera. Okay. Okay. What else? I have to start early. Early. Early could be on time, right? On time. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Bien. Vamos a hacer una cosa. Esta, esta lista la vamos a hacer para mañana. Ok. La vamos a hacer para mañana. Aquí en la clase va a ser nuestra primera actividad, pero la vamos a hacer de una manera diferente. Vamos a hacer la lista de las cosas que la teacher tiene que hacer y la lista de, las, de los alumnos que tienen o necesitan hacer. Ok. Así va a ser la actividad para el día de mañana. So, please, everybody. Think about if you have a question, tell me. Do you have a question? ¿Quién está moviendo su cable de audio? Do you have a question, guys? No questions? Okay, then let me take the attendance. Let me take the attendance here. There we are. Alejandro Vanessa Mora Rodríguez, Alexis Antonio Sandoval Morales, Ana Cristina Chavarría Flores, Present teacher. Ana del Carmen Mejía Álvarez, Present teacher. Astrid Tatiana Jiménez Ramírez, Present teacher. Vladimir Antonio Santos Valdivieso, Present. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez, Present teacher. Giovanni Alexander Ramírez Sánchez, Present. All right, guys. Uh, Jonathan Ernesto Fuentes Marín. Present. Jose Atilio Mangandi Alvarado. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Present. Karina Noemí Álvarez Mejía. Present. Carla Verónica Suria López. Kevin Antonio. Present, present. Okay. Okay. <laughs> eh, Kevin Antonio Ramirez Sánchez. Present. Luis Roberto Mejía Menéndez. María Elena Romero de Galvez. Present teacher. Nancy Beto Rivera. Present teacher. Omar Alfredo Mozo Flores. Present teacher. Uh, Raquel Judith uh, Vázquez de Córdoba. Present. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Present. Auri Elena Segovia Rugamas. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Present. Félix Moisés Blanco Araniva. Javier Adolfo Mendoza Tobar. Ok. There we are.
Okay, guys, uh, today's turn for the assessment one one. Uh, Mm -hmm. will be for Jonathan, okay? Today's turn is for Jonathan. Are you staying with me, Jonathan? Do you have questions? No, teacher, I you, don't have questions. Okay, uh, but are you staying or do you want to change with another classmate? Yes, yeah, another classmate, please. Okay, guys, there is this opportunity. Who wants to stay with me? No? No, teacher. Okay. Nobody? <laughs> Remember, please do your homework. Do your homework and go to the discussion and give your opinions, okay? I need you to do that on the platform. So let's meet us tomorrow then. And have a good night, everyone. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. Take care. Okay, thank you. Bye. Okay, my dear students, going to show you this because it's very important for you guys to have clear how to ask a question. Okay, how to ask a question. So let's remember guys that when we ask a question in the present simple, we use a helping verb, a helping verb. What verb do we use? Uh, we use do, and for the third person, we use does. So now let's think about this that we have here, okay? For example, we have this activity, call clients, call clients. And we have a time expression, and this is like a compliment, right? So it will be on Friday, call clients on Fridays. Now let's ask a question using this information because we want to know that. So let's think about, okay, let's think about writing this. And number one will be, okay, number one will be, do you, call clients on Fridays, okay? Do you call clients on Fridays? Do you call clients on Fridays? What if the person that we 
are asking to is the secretary or maybe the boss or maybe is your friend or maybe it's your co-worker. So then we, we use he or she, right? Because it's the third person. So we need to use the other form of the helping verb for the third person. So it will be does the secretary call clients on Fridays? Okay, then this is the way to ask questions in the present simple. Do you see? With does, we don't use letter S in the verb because does makes the third person for that verb. So in this case, the main verb is call and the helping verb is does. Okay, because it's the third person. So the secretary will be a she or a he, right? So we could say, does he call clients on Fridays? Okay, does she, sorry, she call clients on Fridays? Okay, this is the way to ask questions in the present simple, using the present simple, okay? Now, let me erase this, let me erase this. And let's think about a question with attend meetings. Attend meetings is the activity and we are going to ask a question using that activity. Let's write it down. Okay, do you attend meetings? And for the third person, does he attend meetings? Okay, does she attend meetings? Okay, this is the way to write the question, okay? This is the way to write the question using the present symbol. Do you attend meetings? Does he attend meetings? Does she attend meetings? Okay. Now let's think about the other activity. Send emails every morning. Send emails every morning. Now, let's see. So what will be the question? Using the helping there, do. Mm -hmm. Let's think that we are talking about the company where we work, for example. We could say they, referring to the company, okay? When we refer to the company, we could say they, they or we could say it. In this case, we, we can refer to a company as a plural. So, do they send, do they send emails every morning? Okay. Let's refer to the company as a, as, as a plural thing. Okay. And it's not a problem. It's very common to do that. So do they send emails every morning? Now let's think about the third person. Does your boss, let's think about your boss. Could be he or could be she, right? Third person. Does your boss send emails every morning? 
Okay. This is a way to ask questions using the present simple. So you say, do, you, do they send emails every morning? Does your boss send emails every morning? Okay. Now let's think about answer the phone. Answer the phone. Okay. Do you answer the phone? Okay. We could ask also, does, sorry, does she answer the phone? Okay. So if you see, we use do when we are talking or are asking for this person, you, okay? You, this pronoun means you, okay? Does she answer the phone? She could be a coworker, she could be a boss, she could be any woman, right? Any woman. So let's see the other one, the other activity that we have there. It says, write a daily report, write a daily report. Ah, then we could say, uh, do, let's use a, pr a plural, okay? Do the employees, okay, write plural, Okay, write a daily report. So that's plural. Do the employees write a daily report? Remember the question mark. And then for the third person could be only one employee, only one employee, okay? Does the employee write a daily report? And there you are, okay? There you are. This is the way to write questions in the present simple. We use do and does. Do when we are asking or requesting information for I, you, we, and they. And does is the helping verb for he, she, and eat, okay? There you are. Okay, my dear students, I hope this could be as a very useful tip how to write questions in the present simple, okay? So let's meet us tomorrow in our video conference and Bye-bye and have a good night.